All right, hello everyone, this is Mr. Crozier. I wanted to give you some help on your story problems I've been working on here. Um, I'm gonna do some of them. I've circled the ones I'm gonna do, and hopefully that'll help you with the rest of them. Um, first off, the key to these problems is to draw a triangle. All of them are right triangle problems, so you wanna make sure you draw a triangle and label it. So a ladder um, leans against a building. That's a very common problem that we're going to have. So here's the building, here's the ladder, and the ladder is leaning against the building. The ladder is 500, and the angle between the ground is 57 degrees. And how far from the wall? Well, that's this distance right here. So that's what you want to do. You want to make a triangle on each problem, and there's our triangle. It goes up, down, and straight across. And now if we want to find this length, and we call this theta, it is an adjacent and a hypotenuse. Well, that's cosine, so the cosine of 57 degrees is the adjacent over 500. Uh, you can get your answer by multiplying this to both sides. And you want to make sure your calculator is in degree mode. So it's 500 times cosine of 57 degrees, and we have 272. Uh, what's it say to round to the nearest tenth? So we have 272.3 feet. But the key is draw a triangle write a trig equation, and then solve it. Uh, number three, a kite is flying. You have a lot of kite problems. Here's a kite up in the air. It's flying 115 feet up. The length of the string, well, right there's the string. If that's the kite, that's the string, so that's 150. Find the angle that the string makes with the ground. Well, that's that angle. And again, here's your right triangle. All right, well, what is that? If this is theta, then that's uh, opposite over hypotenuse. That's sine. Sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So theta is equal to the inverse sine of that amount. And again, make sure you're in degrees and do inverse sine, 115, 150, and about 50 degrees. All right, uh, going on here, a, an observation tower is 75 feet high. So here's my tower, and the tower is 75 feet high. Support wires attached 20 to the tower, 20 meters from the top. So down here, 20, there's a support wire, and it makes an angle with 46 degrees. Um, what is the length of the wire? Well, there's my triangle. The length of the wire is what I need, so that's this. But my triangle, make sure you're using the number, wouldn't that be 55 right there? Make sure you're using this 55 down here because that 20 is the extra part above it. And 20 and 55 make 75 because 75 is this whole distance here. All right, uh, another problem you might run into, problem 8. Uh, from the top of a lighthouse, so here's my lighthouse. Um, lighthouse, the angle of depression to a boat out at sea. So here's the sea and there's this boat out here, and the angle of depression means that when it looks down, this is 24 degrees. So if my triangle is here, that 24 degrees is not part of my right triangle. So let's see what i got to find here. Find the top of the lighthouse is 160. Um, to the nearest foot, find the distance the boat to the foot of the lighthouse. Well, that's the bottom, so that's here. This 24 is outside, so you have, you have two options here. Well, this is 90 degrees here, so you could take 90, 90, whoops, 90 minus a 24, and you could get that as 66. Or you could also know that if these two lines are parallel, so this is 24, then this is also 24. So now you have two angles, and you can call this theta or this theta. Either one of them is fine. All right, there are some two-step problems on here. If you take a look at number nine here, um, and there are problems like this on our quiz, we have, we have a two-step problem here. We, we have this tall building here, and it says the building 780 feet. And you are standing here, and your friend is standing here. And if you look up, if you look up, you're looking up at a degree of 42 degrees to the top. But your friend's closer, so they're looking up at a steeper angle, and that's 71. 
All right, using that information, we can figure out how far apart they are. Well, how do we do that? Well, what we do is we do this. We, we write one big trig ratio to find this big yellow triangle. I'm going to go ahead and do that. This, this distance right here, let's call this X. And what would that be for that one? Let's see here. This is the distance U R. Well, U R, what is this? Um, it's opposite and adjacent, so that's tangent. So the tangent of 42 degrees is the opposite, which is 780, over the X, which is this whole adjacent side right here. Uh, do the math, and you are at 866.27. So this distance right here, from here to here, is 866.27. Well, if you can do this now, let's see, if you could write this little triangle right here for your friend, what would that be? Your friend would be um, the tangent of 71 degrees is 780 over, let's call that Y, and Y is about 268.58. Now we know that this distance right here is 268.58. So now we know this whole distance is 800, say, and this one is 200. So if I subtract them, we get about 600. It comes out to be 598 in this problem. So you will have to do that when, you have, when you're trying to find this distance here. Find the big yellow triangle, find that distance, do the blue one, subtract them. You'll do the same thing down here on this side. All right, well, I hope that helps with the story problems.